Uh, Shalom, Apostle Hockman, back at you with the truth, giving all praise to you. Bashem, Yahushua, Bashem, Rakha Kodash. And I'm going to entitle this video, Mark of the Beast to be impl implemented um, by 2020. <clears throat> I was watching a video earlier that the uh, Apostle uh, Ryan Law put together dealing with uh, an article um, with uh, Elon Musk and uh, Neuralink. So what I did was I put in e Elon Musk Neuralink <clears throat> and I got these uh, three uh, news companies I mean, if I, uh, there's more than these three. Some were put up nine, five hours ago, nine hours ago, ten hours ago. Okay, you got one put up, uh, Fifty minutes ago, fifty-seven minutes ago, uh, twenty hours ago, twenty hours ago, or uh, twenty-one hours ago. Anyway, what I did was I went. You know what I'm gonna do? Let me just go to the first one. Is that Elon Elon Musk wants to? And by the way, we already know the scriptures. Um, Revelation 13. As a matter of fact, I will I will read it real quick. Uh, Revelation 13. Now we here in, at Great Millstone. We don't believe that this may be the chip. We don't know. We, you know, wait and see. Um, uh, mode. We know that this this right here, Revelation 13, 13 chapter, from the 15th verse on down is. Uh, Definitely, definitely the microchip technology. So I'll read it. It said Revelation 13 verse 15. And he had power to give uh, life unto the image of the beast. A lot of Jakes out there don't even know who the beast is. Um, that the image of the beast should should both speak and cause that as both speak. So the beast be able to speak. You got a lot of people out there that don't know what that doesn't have no clue as to what that means. The beast, who who is the beast? Number one, what does it mean that the beast is going to going to speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image? Now, what is the image of the beast? And it's and it's not the uh, the picture of uh, Cesare or Caesar Borgia. They're not going to go around with a picture. Ain't no Edomite gonna go around wearing a suit and tie, and um, put bringing out behind his back a picture, an image of uh, Caesar Borgia, and you have to bow down to it. That's not gonna happen. <clears throat> it has nothing to do with the picture of uh, Caesar Borgia or Cesare Borgia, which is um, that image of uh, the so-called Jesus Christ. It says the image of the beast should should be killed. So there's not going to be a scenario of a guy that's going to bring out an image of Caesar Bolger or Ches Cesare Bolger and tell you, look, you got to bow, bow down to it or I'll kill you on the spot. That's not going to happen. That's bullshit. <clears throat> Reading on, 16 verse. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, Free and bond to receive a mark. The word mark uh, goes back to the word uh, uh, karagma, which goes back to the word karax. Matter of fact, let me go go to it. We already know this. I don't even have to read the scripture. You in the know already know this. Karagma. A stamp, an, imp, an imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead of the, or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. Which they, the blue letter people got it half right. Um, the mark 
is actual is um, actually a a uh, small device about the size of a uh, grain of rice that that will be placed in your right hand or in your left hand or in your forehead which is the interface um, of you uh, receiving that mark in your brain and we're gonna go back into the article and I'm gonna uh, uh, pick out a particular word out of that article anyway it says or the mark stamp on the foreheads or the right hand as the badge of followers of anti Antichrist. Anti there's no such thing as an Antichrist. The scriptures don't tell you about an Antichrist. A guy is going, and you got a lot of Christians, you got a lot of Israelites, you got a lot of wacky people that think they know the Bible. They're looking for an actual guy, and they're going to say, oh, that's the Antichrist. He just popped out of that building. He just came out for, uh, um, he just came out of the uh, number two train on 34th Street or whatever wherever that train stops and that's him that's the Antichrist you people are living in a fucking fairy, fairy tale fantasy world it goes on to say uh, the mark branded upon horses thing carved uh, sc uh, sculpture graven work of idolatrous images so now let's go to the, the, the root of Karagma, which is Karax, uh, G5482. Karax, a palisade or stake. A palisade, a palisade or rampart part. Pales between which earth, stone, trees, and timbers are heaped and packed together. Um, stake, if you ever watch any of the, through the years, the Dracula movies, you know, there's two ways to kill him. You gotta, uh, well, I think there's one, well, two ways. I think you shoot him with a silver bullet and uh, the other way is you gotta impale him with a stake. It's a piece of wood. A, like a dowel that's been um, cut in a way to make it like a, um, a pointy at one end. And what they would do is they would take uh, the, the steak after they threw some, some garlic on his ass and uh, put took took the cross and put it on his forehead and burnt the, the cross on his forehead, you know, hit, shot him with a silver bullet. And then when he's lying down on his back, belly up, then you take the, 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 the stake or the uh, carox and then you and then you uh, nail it into his heart and then he dies. You know, that's all in the realm of fantasy. And so the, the device that they use to uh, put the chip in you is a is a uh, a needle which has that 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 um pointy edge to it and that um puts put, actually uh puts the uh the uh the chip inside your hand now the way to put it in your head you would have to do you have to have a brain surgeon to open up your skull in such a way to get to your brain uh to to, to put it in your brain so they're not going to use that particular needle I don't know the, the the way they're gonna do it, but they normally give you videos of someone getting it put in their right hand or in their left hand. Okay, so let, let's go back to uh, this article here. It says uh, Elon Musk wants to hook your brain directly up to computers starting next year, which is 2020. So what I did was. I went to the actual article, and if I read all the articles, you know, this would be a long video. I don't have to make this long. A lot of these videos that we're putting up now are quick hits. Um, we go straight to the point, 
and we give you the information, then we will give you a scripture, maybe one or two scriptures, maybe a handful of scriptures as the Spirit leads us. But we already know the scriptures on uh, the mark of the beast. Actually, let me let me let me go back to uh, let me bring this back to Revelation thirteen. And I don't know what what you other camps are waiting for, man. Great Millstone has a one hundred percent truth. You better hop on this train, or you gonna get run over. Anyway, um. <clears throat> It says in the 16th verse, which we read, I don't know how many thousands of times, uh, Revelation 13, verse 16. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark, karagma, which goes back to the word, root word, karax, which means a palisade or a, a uh, stake. Like you put a stake in the heart of Dracula to kill him. In their right hand or in their foreheads. Now it says in Revelation the 20th chapter. It doesn't say right or left hand. It says in thy hand. Now in Europe. In Europe they drive cars. Um, the, 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 the driver's seat. Is on the. Um, uh, on the, uh, the right hand side. And here in the, in the states. It's on the left hand side. The driver's seat. So, and I guess that's why they would put it in your left hand. I guess you you use your left hand more over there in Europe. But if you notice, um, you got the Europeans, they'll get it, they'll get an actual chip. And they openly do it. They don't have no problem with it. Why? Because they don't know the scriptures. Why? Because they're not Israelites. It says, uh, 17 verse, and that no man... And that word literally means man or, or woman might buy or sell save he that had the mark, the stake, the, uh, the, the, the chip or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So this is a system. Set up by the beast. And like I said, you got people out there that don't even know, they can't even identify who the beast is. They'll say it's the Antichrist. Or the anti-type inside joke. Anyway, let's go back to the article. It says, uh, Elon Musk wants to hook your brain directly up to the computers, to computers starting next year, which is 2020. Now, I don't know if they're going to actually succeed in doing it. It could be, and, and, and hopefully that this thing really gets pushed um, the end of uh, 2019, the beginning of uh, 2020 into the middle of two. 2020 into 2000 the end of 2020 you know we we're hoping and praying that everything moves uh quickly because as soon as this as soon as the the chip is imp implemented to the majority of the world then the end shall come then then um everything's gonna move quick it's not gonna be i don't see it being a thing where the whole the 98 percent of the people gonna get the chip and um this system going to go another 10 years. I don't see that happening. I see that once they fully implement that chip, I see that this thing is going to move so fast. It's going to be months. It might be three months. It might be six months. That's the long haul, you know, uh, six months. I see everything moving quick and everything speeding up and the most high speeding this thing up. And, and, and by the way, this is the most high technology. The mark, the mark is the most highest technology. Who gave this uh, technology to the so-called white man, the Edomites? The most high. To fulfill prophecy. And so the, 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 the Tesla and uh, SpaceX founder uh, announced a goal 
and planting chips into human brains as early as next year to create direct human connection to computers. It goes on to say, um, Elon, Elon Musk, the futurist billionaire behind SpaceX and te Tesla, outlined his plan to co connect humans, humans' brains directly to computers on Tuesday night, describing a campaign to create sim symbiosis with artificial intelligence um, merging man and machine he said the first prototype could be implanted in a person by the end of next year 2020 so I looked up the word symbiosis let me read that again it says his plan to connect human be human brains directly to computers on Tuesday night describing a campaign to create symbiosis with artificial Intelligence. So now let's look up the word sim symbiosis. Better look up your words. Uh, symbiosis. 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 Which means interaction between two different organisms living in close physical association, typ typically to the advantage of both. So this is the merging of man and machine. Creating androids that li actually live, breathe, and eat. And can do what an android does. A mut mutually beneficial relationship between different people or groups. In this case, it's uh, talking about uh, putting... Uh, technology in into you so you're going to be part uh ai artificial in, intelligence intelligence so let's go back uh it says uh it says he said that the first uh Prototype could be implanted in a person by the end of next year. Arriving at at the goal will take a long time, Musk said in a uh, presentation at the uh, California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco. Well, it won't it won't take a long time if the Most High is behind it. Like I said, I'm gonna say it again. This is the Most High's technology. This these this, these are the Most High's prophecies. So the Most High, I see the Most High pushing this thing. And Esau can't say, "Well, I'm not. We're not going to do it," because this is this is fulfilling the prophecy of the Most High. Just like, um, uh, give you an example, Alexander was chosen by the Most High to take over the take down the uh, Medo Persian Empire. And when he saw the priest, I believe his name was uh ja, ja, Jada, which is like a funny way of saying Judah. He was uh the one of the high priests um that encountered uh Alexander when he was taken down the so called dark nations and he bowed down to this high priest and the priests that were among them they were wearing long long white robes. They wasn't wearing T shirts with, with fringes on it. And he bowed down to him and uh Gave them gift, gifts, and they didn't understand why this was happening. And and he said, "This is the man I saw in my dream." He said he saw that the high priest and those other priests around him. I mean, you can actually go to the account in um in the uh, the, the the book of Jose the, the the Josephus, and it actually tells you the account. And I believe it was the the priest that opened up the book of Daniel and showed him in the book of Daniel who he was. Like he probably went to, um, and I got to go back to it, but it said in the book of Daniel. So anytime you read about Alexander in uh, Daniel the 7th chapter, uh, when you read about um, the, um, the Babylonians 
being taken taken down by the Medo Persian Empire, and then the uh, uh, the Greeks taking down the Medo Persian Empire. He should probably showed him that. Well, I got to go back to see exactly what verses he showed him, but he had to have show, showed him um, uh, uh, Daniel the um, the eighth chapter. So, so the reason why. Uh, Alexander did what he was supposed to do because he was set up. So I just gave you an example of man's goings of the Lord, even Esau. Hey, look, Donald J. Trump was put up by the put up there by the Most High, and he'll most likely be the man that uh, leads America to the War of Armageddon, and we hope so. He's the he's the right guy for the job. Donald J. Trump. Anyway, it says arriving at the goal. Arriving at the goal. Uh, will take a long time, must said in a presentation at the California Academy of Sciences in in San San Francisco. Nothing that's nothing that's securing federal approval because they were that's part of the beast um, for implant for implanted neural devices is difficult, and now that goes into a whole thing of uh, whether. Because people are not, not going to want to take it. There's going to be people, there's going to be Edomites out there that's going to say, I'm not taking the mark, the, the, the uh, chip because it's the mark of the beast. you got a lot of Bible Belt um, Edomites, you know, in the Midwest, uh, down south. you got a lot of Edomites. Because Edomites, look, there's a lot of Edomites that know a lot more than you simple-minded bird brain Negroes. Anyway, it says uh, nothing that's uh, securing federal approval because they have anything they do, they have to get it, get the approval from the government um, for imp implanted uh, neural devices is difficult. But testing on animals is already underway and a monkey has been able to control a computer with his brain, he said. It says uh, Musk uh, founded Neuralink. You can look up Neuralink and get more articles on Neuralink. Uh, Neuralink uh, uh, Corp. Um, in July of 2016 to create ultra high uh, bandwidth brain machine interfaces to connect humans and computers. That's the next Big, uh, the, the next quantum leap. Look that up. It said the company said in uh, 2017 that it that its initial goal was to d devise brain interfaces to alleviate the the symptoms of chronic medical conditions. They're going to use it in the name of, uh, you know, if you if you're suffering from uh. Uh, MS or uh, Alzheimer's disease, or you're blind or you can't hear, you know, and they're gonna and they're gonna put that device in these people, and people will say, well, I'm able to, uh, I don't shake anymore, or um, you know, I can see now, I can hear, I'm no longer in a coma, you know. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna read on that. Like I said, I wasn't gonna make this long. And I'll leave the uh, the the link of this uh, in the description box. Also, what I'll do is um, you'll see the other articles. If you put in, like I said, put all you got to do is put in Elon. Musk, go to Google, put in Elon Musk um, neural link, and that should you know click on that or Elon Musk. Neural, neural link, uh, the market of beast, however you want to put it in. But if you put in uh, Elon, Elon Musk neural link, you know, you'll get this article. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to leave this article in the description box. And um, with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom is on to the next one. Like I said, we're doing these videos straight and to the point. So, you know, this nonsense of uh, you know, five hour videos. Ain't nobody got the intention, attention span for that. We do these little 10-minute, 20-minute, 30-minute, 
uh, videos, man. Anyway, with that, it's on to the next one. Shalom. And the mark of the beast is right around the corner. And the whole world will see the manifestation of the mark of the beast, which is the microchip technology. Shalom.